Hi everybody, welcome to my Hillside Urban Garden. Today we're going to plant up a small pot for the shade. So if you don't have a lot of sun or you've got a nice shady spot, these plants will do very well. And today in the nurseries there's a lot of different shade plants to choose from. In particular, I like ones that bloom. So that's what we're going to plant today. So we've got um, a Creeping Jenny and a Lobelia that actually I dug out of another pot because it was getting kind of crowded. So some free plants today. We have um, a Cascading Begonia. These are amazing. They are a bulb that will stay in the ground and they'll come back every year, every season, in my area anyway. And this one's called uh, Belliconia Rose. And you can see it's a beautiful purple and a little white center. And then we've got a really, this is a full grown hosta. It's called mini skirt. So this one will stay small in the pot, which is exactly what we need for this size. So let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna put in our fertilizer, our slow release. This will feed the plants for a few months. So we'll just work that in a bit. And I always like to start with the smaller plants. So let's kind of decide where things are gonna go here. Let's do this, let's do the Creeping Jenny first. And so since this one's gonna kind of cascade over, we wanna kind of plant it close to the edge here. So you can see that I dug it up, there's a whole bunch of roots. So fingers crossed, it should be fine. It's a pretty tough plant. So put that in there, that cascading. We have a bonus of the lobelia. I only wanted the creeping jenny and the lobelia came up too. So hopefully that'll stay as well. So next up, we're gonna do our hosta mini skirt. Got a couple of these, but I thought this one would look good in this garden here. Oh, that one's got a lot of dirt on the bottom, so let's take some of that out. And again, a hosta, a lot of you might be familiar with them. They also will come back every year, like a rhizome in there. Okay, there we go. This one already has a little pretty little pink purple flower on it already. So there we go. And now the last one that we have is our cascading begonia. I'll take out some dirt for that. Now I'm going to put this one in the back. Yes, it does cascade, but it also gets it gets it gets pretty tall too. So it'll kind of come out and kind of come down in the back, and leave these guys here. Uh, it will stay a little bit smaller, so it'll look nice. And since this is a small pot, if you put it in a small space, it'll have more of an impact. Let's put that in there. Oh, fit very nicely. All right, there we go. So let's get our brush out. Clean up just a bit. I lift, if I lift it up like this, I can get underneath without hurting the plant. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, what do you think? So we've got the lobelia here and the creeping jetting over the edge and the hosta mini skirt here and the, uh, the begonia that's gonna cascade over. It'll be beautiful. Let's give it a little drink and it'll be good to be placed in the garden. In this case, for me, it's my front porch. That's where I get most of the shade. That's where it'll go. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video today. I hope you give this a try. It's a small little planting. And uh, always remember, when you're in the garden, to be safe. Always wear your hat and your sunscreen. Thanks for watching. Bye.